Joe Clean, Southern Hospitality, February 10, 1990, 44. At the end of the night, there are two winners among the 10 casino companions, Misty and Daryl, plus the house, of course. Shortly after 1 a.m., Phil declares, Well, guess we'd better quit while we're behind, huh? Not too bad. What'd we lose? 150? Spouse Courtney tilts her head to the side. How about 250? We quit when my chips were gone, but not until after you cashed in another hundred bucks, remember? Well, Phil replies, drawing out the word, if you hadn't taken so long to lose, I'd have quit sooner. What do you want me to do when you milked your 50 long past my hundred? Just watch? <laughs> you might have learned something, mate, Daryl says with a chuckle. Seems like Courtney there held out the longest. Other than Misty, of course, you ended up, correct? I did, Misty acknowledges, smile beaming. We started with 10 and ended with 3275 which means you made almost $23 in three hours, Joe asks, head tilted. It's for entertainment, Joe, Misty replies, forehead furrowed. I'm just glad we won. How about you, Daryl? What did you fleece them for? Started with 500 ended with seven, but we were here longer. Guess we netted about $50 an hour. Hey, eh, Joe? Uh, 25 Joe replies. Julie was betting, too. Well, buck of that, Daryl says with a laugh. Fair enough. Is he always like this? He asks in an aside to Misty. Nope, just doesn't appreciate gambling, Misty replies. He gets his kicks careening around a mountain bike course. A friend of ours swears he saw Joe elbow a man who was trying to take his line in a race one time. Is that right, Joe? Are you a badass in disguise? Not me, Joe says, smiling and shaking his head. It was him or me, and he was going to take us both down. The man apologized after the race. He did, Misty confirms, nodding and laughing. After we thought he was coming over to start a fight, it was fine, Joe says. Same race, Misty took third. Well, if you'd prefer that sort of excitement, we could play some doubles tomorrow, Daryl offers. You and Misty and Julie and I, or you and Jules and Misty and me, if you'd rather. Mist, you up for that? Want to play a little tennis? What time are we talking here, Misty asks. Well, somewhat early. We have a plane to catch. We could meet, say, 8 o'clock before it gets too hot. 8? Kind of early, Mr. replies. No, it's not, Joe replies. Plus, it'll be cooler. Fine, Misty says, rolling her eyes. And to make it fun for Misty, we could place a little wager on the match. We don't need to wager to make it fun for me, Miss says. Betting, Joe asks, on tennis? Not really my thing, though I did play doubles with the Archbishop of South Africa once. Wait, John demands, you played tennis with Desmond Tutu? Oh no, John rep Joe replies, shaking his head and smiling. Joe Potashnik, Catholic, not Anglican. He wasn't a bishop yet, but he was my girlfriend's uncle. We kicked their butts. Perfect, Daryl says with a smile. Meet at the court today, 8 o'clock, not say 8.43. Sounds good, Joe answers, laughing. We'll see you at the courts at 8. Can we get rackets there, or do we need to pick them up at the lobby? Well, I'm not sure, Daryl answers with a shrug. We brought our own, 